Hello YouTube. What we have today is the Taro Sport Dead Set Rigid Subframe Collar Kit. This is applicable to literally all Mark 5, Mark 6, and Mark 7 Goffs. Also applicable to the Mark 2 um, Audis, such as the Audi TT and, and TTRS. Both applicable to front and all wheel drive vehicles. So, what you actually have here is the it comes in the kit actually comes in two parts so you have the collar and the spacer the purpose of this actual kit is to eliminate what is known as the fa the famous very famous subframe clunking noise that you get so you may be driving you may be driving on a perhaps roughly on a slight slope whether it be a sleeping policeman or you may be driving diagonally on a slight incline and then you hear a clunking sound, a clunk clunk from your front end or both front and rear subframe, especially up front. That clunking sound is actually when there is a, exists a manufactured space between the spacer or So let me go back. Let's go back to the very beginning. So your Volkswagen. Um, subframe would come with a would come equipped with bolts similar to this their tensile strength would be 8.8 .8. all right let's see if i can make this a little clearer 8.8.8 is what you get so these are torque to yield bolts you torque them down to 81 foot pounds of torque and then you add an additional 90 degree turn to that. After, once you've torqued them down and you stretch them, the bolts themselves really are not good again. As in, that's it, they're done. You can't. They're single-use bolts. You won't reuse these. The This upgraded kit actually comes with much stronger bolts. 10.9 for, for the actual tensile strength. So there's a possibility that we could possibly reuse these. I don't know, but it would be very interesting to find out. But so this actually comes as part of the actual kit. This is not a paid um, sponsorship or promotion, not promoted um, to endorse this particular item. I bought this item out of for my own. Bought this item using my own money, but. 10.9, oh sorry, let me put this back in the camera, see if we can get the camera to focus on this. 10.9 over the factory 8.8 .8 is going to be a very good upgrade. So what I was saying before, as it relates to why we actually need this particular kit. The manufactured hole in your subframe, traditionally the actual hole itself is intentionally, for some reason, during the manufacturing process, made much wider than the actual bolt that goes through it because of that you will have a lot of slot the bolt itself can never actually be truly centered so to speak so the bolt will literally be dancing around in the hole it, it sounds a bit strange but yes it, it actually does if you've removed and re-added your um, subframe quite a few times you'll quickly realize that yeah the subframe can dance around which makes alignment pretty tricky so that's why the, the intent um the idea behind this kit oh they've also included some grease here and to seize I mean, this is up in the camera so you can actually see the quality of what you get this looks like a henkel product from germany so that's the anti seize component you get which we can use so this kit really comes in three parts. The collar, in which the collar, the spacer, so the spacer that goes between the subframe, between the subframe itself and the chassis of the vehicle. So you may notice that this here, this goes Yeah, so this right here 
literally goes up into the subframe itself and takes all of that slot that the man, um, OEM bolt would have to endure. Hence the reason why you hear that slopping, um, that slopping sound as you go left to right. Now up and down motion is done by these this actual spacer here. So the camera might not actually correctly show it, but it's like a very it acts like a very large washer. So you may know of the original Volkswagen Automotive um, Group troubleshooting built TSP which speaks about putting a shim yeah the problem with those shims is that they literally work you might they might work for a few weeks and then the problem comes back hence the reason why this is going to be the permanent solution in that these bolts all right so these would have been like well the pitch this pitch is OEM um, OEM pitch so for all intents and purposes you could consider these OEM bolts. The one difference, how one improvement, however, for this one is that it's 10.9 for the tensile strength as opposed to the factory 8.8, .8, which literally stretches and can even break under extreme conditions. Now, with this kit, what what you actually get are you get our custom ARP studs. So if, you, if the camera can focus on it properly, you can see ARP in red there. And if I flip it over, you'll be able to see Tyrol. So Tyrol, um, Tyrol Sport had, has actually gone through the process of making these custom, um, between themselves and ARP, they've gone through the interesting process of making this custom set of bolts here for this specific application. So the pitch of the threads would be OEM but the added benefit is that of course as you know with any o um, ARP pr product they don't stretch they're literally just made to last a lifetime so think of it as the last time that you'll ever need to pull any of your subframe bolts for this particular noise um, subframe noise problem so what you will notice is that the shoulder of this bolt shoulder and head of this bolt fits nicely in this collar hence the reason why it's called a collar this fits fits nicely in there meanwhile these spacers so you have this as a washer yeah this right here i'm trying to look through my camera while recording this it's a bit tricky to do it do so but yeah this here acting as a nice washer and at the same time, this acting like a very, very, very beautiful space. Though. So it's currently night now, and I wouldn't have the ability to actually do the installation at night. But during the day, we will tackle this very um, interesting and ex exciting install. It's going to require, well, for me, it's going to re require the use of two jack stands so I have to put the car up on jacks use a jack stand jack it up and then put put these bad boys on tighten tighten them up and should be good to go put so the ARP bolts will go in the collar the collar and the bolt assembly will go up into the subframe the subframe before we um, before we do that though the subframe we will lower the subframe a little, little bit to put this spacer um, install this space these spacers in there and then we simply put the, tighten the whole thing up so what you get in what we get in this particular kit all right so this is this would have been the kit actually comes in several configurations let me be a bit more clear so let me bring so i've literally brought up oh my camera all right so the, yeah i don't know my phone is shifting or my camera is shifting right so i brought my laptop up so with a column wait where's my lap sorry this is embarrassing my camera is just not staying stationary or it's not focusing properly but what we have here the standard kit you get so for you get vehicle selection in my case, I did the standard dead set, dead set kit. 
which comes like this and I actually added the ability to do oh right so this was me yeah that would have been oh what did I do oh here we go yeah that was me this was suggested to me by based on I keep forgetting someone on Tarot Sport. We had exchanged emails back and forth um, this particular day. They were actually very helpful with um, pointing me in the direction to all the parts that I actually need. I described to them exactly what I had, what I wanted, and they recommended that this particular configuration w would have been best for my particular setup, being a front wheel um, drive vehicle, and the fact that I actually do track it from time to time. They say with. Um, with the track um, with the track setup you're going to definitely want to have the have at least the two additional bolts for a piece of peace of mind installed so they say that's the reason why i had stuck this option for the um ttrs option here which came up to a little bit more 234 as opposed to the standard 224 figured not a bad bad price because hey guess what i'm going to be looking at replacing um replacing all of these anyway since i have to pull it off and once once they you've removed them they're going to stretch they can't use again or it should not be used again because any torque setting you're going to get after that will be of no use and also to the fact that anything extra arp very good brand well known so give it a few days I mean sorry give it a few hours we get some daylight install these bad boys in and then tell you exactly what I feel how I mean how I feel about them